In this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite way to make tokens really easily in Foundry VTT. There are a few different ways that you can make them and a couple different mods. My favorite and probably the most popular is the Tokenizer by Mr. Primate it is a completely free mod and my favorite for creating and modifying tokens. So let's jump into that. So one of your players sends you an image for their character. Using the Tokenizer mod, it is super easy to use. You click on the blank icon You'll click this little upload button, click on the image they send you, and bam, that is now in there. Then we are going to add a layer. All right, next we need to add a frame, and you can click this button here, and they have a bunch of different options. Uh, you can also select another file and upload some more custom ones if you would like. I like using just the default player frame for my players. If they wanna change it, they can ask me and I'll adjust it. But uh, for now, we'll leave it with that. Uh, you can click this unlock button to move the image around or zoom in and out. Let's frame this one just a little bit better. We need to make sure that this single metal he has is properly on display. And yeah, it looks good. So we'll hit okay. And it has now saved it. You'll see the image is right there and the token has been created. It's just as easy to do this with monsters or NPCs. Uh, so to pull up a monster that does not have an image, so let's say an adult white dragon, import this, click on it, click on the image. Again, just gonna pull that image in right there. You can unlock it if you wanna, if you wanna move it around, zoom in or out. We will pull that layer over, add a frame, a white dragon. And I'm gonna unlock this, I wanna zoom out. And bam, just like that, super easy. For both of those, I used an image that I currently have saved on my computer. You can also use a URL if you have one to the image or if it's already loaded into Foundry. That's what this button here does. If you wanna go into the settings, I'm not gonna go through each of these items individually. They're all pretty self-explanatory. If you do have a question though, please let me know in the comments. So that's pretty much all there is to talk about with this mod. It's extremely easy to use and I highly recommend it. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna talk about. Cool.